Hey guys, welcome to the 50 second C sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the math class. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a label. Once you have those on your form, just double click on the button. So, in order to access the math class, we're just going to want to type out math. In order to access the methods inside of the math class, we're just going to want to use the dot operator since all of the methods inside of the math class are static. The first method that we're going to be looking at inside of the math class is the absolute value method. And this will just return the absolute value of a number. So if we just put negative 4 in here, it will just return the absolute value of negative 4. And we're going to go ahead and set label one's text equal to um, the absolute value of negative 4, just to make sure that the math class is working properly. So it's going to debug here, and we should get 4. Yep, because the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. And you can um, get the absolute value of pretty much any number. So if we wanted to get the absolute value of 833, we could do that. Should just get 833. Yep. The math class doesn't only contain methods. There are also a few values as well. Um, for example, we can access pi if we were trying to do some calculations with circles or something. We can just use that, and we're just going to set label one's text equal to pi, and we should get um, 3.1415, whatever. Yep. Also inside of the math class, there is the um, pow method, or raising a number to a power, or exponents, whatever you want to call it. And say we wanted to um, square the number four, we're just going to put four right here and then put two. So the number that you want to square will go right here and then however many times you want to raise it you'll just put here and we just want to do four to the second power or four squared or whatever you want to call it and we're just going to use the dot two string method here to convert it into a string so that we can um, set it as label one's text and we should get 16 cents. Four squared is 16. Yep. And you can put any numbers here, just, I don't know, if you want to do 32 to the fourth power, you could do that as well. You should get, I don't know, some crazy number. Yep. Also in the math class, there is the round method. And the round method will basically round um, any double value or any number that has a decimal point in it. So say we want to round 4.7, well it'll do that, it'll return 5 since 4.7 rounded to the nearest whole number is 5. Again, we're just going to have to convert it into a string here. So now when we click button 1, we should just get 5. Yep. And defaultly it will round to the nearest whole number, but if you want to specify um, how many values you want it to round to, like for example if you have this like crazy decimal right here, like I don't know that, and you want to round it to um, the hundredth place, you can do that. And right here you're just going to want to specify how many decimal places you want it to be back. So this would be one and this would be two. So we're going to put it back, oops, we're going to put it back two so it'll round to the nearest hundredths place. So we're just going to put two here and it'll round to the nearest hundredths place. So it should get like um, 4.73 because um, this is a 4 right there. Yep. And if you wanted it to round to the nearest whole number, you could just either leave this out right here or just put 0. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using the math class. I know I didn't go over every single method inside of the math class but they're pretty uh, self-explanatory. They give a nice little tool tip uh, right after it. And I don't know all of the math things since I haven't gotten into those advanced math classes yet. But yeah, so see you guys.